We used to have a problem with politics, specifically getting angry about politics, getting into arguments about politics, feeling stressed about politics, and politics just taking up a lot of mental energy. Now, I'm not in public office, public, I'm not, I, do not, I do not directly affect public policy ever, and it's very unlikely that I will for the next at least decade probably ever. So I see politics, and you probably do as well, as something that for short has a cost associated with always being in it and being up to date with it and all this stuff. But the benefit is you're a better citizen, but not really. And you know the truth, but it doesn't really matter. And so I wanted to fix this. So with the 2016 Trump election, an election that I was up to date with for no fucking reason. I'm not American, never been to America, not plans to go at least in the next couple of years. Uh, nothing to do with the political stuff, but just not a thing. And so after all that nonsense, I just uh, downloaded an app that would called the Facebook Newsfeed Eradicator. So now when I go on, it took me 30 seconds, easiest thing I've ever done in my life was free. So now when I go to Facebook, all I see is events and messages, notifications, and my newsfeed is just empty. So that was the easiest thing, not going through Facebook and feeling like I have to engage with someone. Said something and I need to, so that just removed it from me. And I've missed out on nothing and it's super easy. Other thing I did was going through YouTube and unsubscribing to every channel that got even remotely political some of the time. Even some that I otherwise liked, but you know, just get a little bit political some of the time. Unsubscribe to all of them. And then in my YouTube recommended feed, I'd go through every video that was a little bit political and just right click, not interested, right click, not interested, right click, not interested, right click, not interested. And after a couple of weeks, the YouTube algorithm started serving me videos in my recommended feed that were actually not politically based. I'll also go and unsubscribe to podcasts that got political. And, you know, it wasn't like I was subscribed to, uh, you know, like actual news websites. You know, for example, one of the podcasts that I unsubscribed to was Rooster Teeth, which is a gaming podcast, and Let's Play, which is a video gaming channel. But they get very political often for reasons that I don't understand. And you know, there was also this comic book podcast that I liked, but they also get political for no fucking reason. So make a small sacrifice in you know looking at other things on YouTube and a podcast and stuff, but you soon get out of the loop. And so quickly I was getting out of the loop and now the, the next big thing that had happened I have no information about it because I haven't read anything, I haven't watched anything, I haven't listened to anything, I haven't looked at any of the primary sources or any of the secondary sources or even any of the tertiary sources. And if I did happen upon someone that was talking about it in a podcast or a video or whatever, I'd just scroll past. And then in addition to that, I would journal a couple of nights a week in my daily journaling. Uh, so two of the nights of the week were what are stupid arguments that I get into recently. And then what specifically was to gain and what was specifically uh, to lose. And to gain was essentially nothing. You're not going to convince someone that you're right, especially on something that they've actually invested something in. And the cost is you don't like you and you lose a friend over what? That you had too much of a fucking ego that you couldn't resist telling them that they weren't true based on information that now you don't even really have because you force yourself not to look at enough information. So quickly I got out of the loop. And as a consequence, now it's been a year or two of uh, being out of the loop and I have no fucking idea what's going on. <laughs> I don't know the name of the current Australian Prime Minister or the previous Australian Prime Minister. Australian. Uh, for the US politics, I don't know what Trump has done in the past six months. Uh, I know that there was some abortion bill that was passed in some country, or was it passed? Or what is it? Or how does it work? What are the cons? I don't know. Uh, who's the top Democrat person? I don't know. Is Hillary still a thing? I don't know. 
who is AOC or OCA or COA or OC. I'm, I know what she looks like. I don't know anything else about her. Bernie Sanders, I've no idea what he's been doing. I'm just out of the loop. And as a consequence, way less angry, way less stressed, way more mental energy. And I feel like there's less of, again, way less arguments. And I feel like there's a less of a wedge between me and other people based on political differences that are otherwise completely insignificant. Because you only vote once every four years, or in my case, never. And it just feels like something that I shouldn't lose a friendship over because I feel like their opinion of something that does not directly affect either of us, because they don't directly affect it, should mean that we can't be friends. So I highly recommend that you take a look at how your consumption of politics is affecting you, and if you're willing to continue to sacrifice your happiness and well-being and stress levels and relationships in order to continue being in the loop of a thing that that information has no direct bearing on you anyway. Like you're not going to use it to improve yourself. Recommend it.